Wednesday evening, October 17th, 2019. I'm meteorologist Alan Seals with an update on potential tropical cyclone number 16. It's a mass of clouds in the Gulf of Mexico, not yet with a real solid circulation, but in this color-enhanced satellite loop, you see the brighter reds. That tells you where the taller thunderstorm clouds are, which is close to where the center of the storm is or really will be. Now, as we move into fall, we start to see some different patterns in the tropics. The pattern is, if you look back to the west in this different satellite enhancement, you see brown over the western Gulf of Mexico. That's dry air coming in. So this system could become a hybrid between a tropical storm and a regular low pressure system. Either way, the impact will be similar. And don't forget, potential tropical cyclone is a universal term used around the world meaning it could become a tropical depression, a tropical storm, a hurricane, or in other locations, a typhoon. All of those are what are known as cyclones. So here's one forecast model from tonight going into early Friday and then Friday midday where you see the brighter colors here. That's rain projected mostly offshore during the day on Friday, but heading toward the central Florida panhandle by Friday evening and Friday night. The system will be a steady mover. You notice it's not circular. It does have a tail. That tail will extend across central and south Florida where they will pick up a bunch of rain. And that's sort of what I was talking about when I said it could become a hybrid storm. Now, computer models are pretty consistent and moving this northeastward. The T stands for tropical storm. So in this case, we're looking at what will likely become tropical storm Nestor Friday in the middle of the day, not too far off the southeastern tip of Louisiana. It's not to say it'll be a powerful system, but it will pick up a circulation on a northeast track, making landfall Friday night in the Florida panhandle as a tropical storm and then heading to Georgia, where it should slowly weaken. We do have tropical storm warnings for coastal Alabama and all of the Florida panhandle toward Apalachicola. And from basically Apalachicola eastward toward Tampa, there's a storm surge warning. It's all based on how the air will be flowing in from the Gulf of Mexico. And especially to the right of where this is projected to make landfall, that's where the possibility of isolated tornadoes will be. Because it's going to be a steady mover, rain does not look to be extreme. Right now, rain could be three, four, five inches. And in that location toward the east, toward Tampa, storm surge could be as much as five feet. So that's going to be a concern for that part of the Gulf of Mexico. It has been an active hurricane season all the way down through the letter M. The next name on the list is Nestor. And in orange, what you're seeing, hurricanes. In yellow, tropical storms. Hurricane season runs through the end of November, so you've got to keep updated and stay alert to possible threats from the Gulf of Mexico, from the Atlantic Ocean. I'm meteorologist Alan Seals.